welcome back to my channel. Um, it's day two post op, and I thought I'd put some makeup on for you. Um, I got my eyebrows tinted last night, so they look very dark. I thought I'd give you a little update on what's happened since yesterday. Last night I had my dinner. Um, a couple of the girls came over with some birthday cakes. It was one of their birthdays, and then I just went to bed. Um, I woke up this morning at half past four um, to take my medication because I was in a bit of pain when I woke up but um, it's it's pa basically painless now. I texted my surgeon this morning asking when I should start massaging and he said not until another week so apparently I shouldn't even be trying to like push them together or anything but I didn't know that so um, yeah I've got to wait for a, a week so I'll just start doing that on Monday. This is me in just a normal top. They're still quite high up but I like the way they look. So today I started taking some um, stool softeners because, as I've said to you in my previous videos, and when you go under anaesthetic you do start to get constipated, so not a nice thing to be, so I started taking some stool softeners to help, help me with that process. Just been doing everything as normal really, um, I'm not really feeling much pain, I'm probably about 3 out of 10. My nipples are quite sensitive at the moment though, um, <clears throat> and I can see a big bruise coming in between my boobs now that yeah, you can see that so that bit is starting to bruise up which I'm not looking forward to because it is quite tender <coughs> and I can't cough because um, that really fucking hurts I don't really know what else to update you on um, because it's not really changed so I might just do today's video and tomorrow's video as one so do day two and day three post-op as one video, maybe even four if nothing's changed. Just sitting on my sofa, watching telly, having my food, taking my medication, going to bed. It's literally very boring, um, but obviously you've got to try and stay still as long as you can to help them here. I'll just show you my incisions. I'm still struggling to get the blue pen off. And they look pretty um, shiny, but that's actually the sellotape bit. Yeah, they're looking quite good. I'm really happy with them. They are quite square still, um, but they will drop, hopefully. I don't want to walk around with square tips. But yeah, everything's going good so far. So I just thought I'd give you an update on what's happening today. And if anything does change, then obviously I'll add to the video. But um, I might upload this um, either Thursday or Friday, uh, depending on if there's any anything dramatic that happens, but yeah. Hi everyone, day three post-op. Um, nothing's really changed except I've got the worst shoulder and back pain of my life, um, especially this shoulder. It feels like I've got a big knot in it and I can't really do anything. Um, boobs are fine, I'm not really getting any pain in my purple sports bra today. Um, let me just quickly take this off. So they're still quite high up but I can feel that they're dropping and my bruise is coming along nicely. <laughs> Looks like it's going quite dark now in there. Just had a, another shallow bath and I washed my hair. Um, well, my mum washed it um, and then I got stuck in the bath. So anyone who's having their boobs done and they're obviously wanting to bath, then the best way for you to be able to get in and out of the bath is on your knees. So like literally just manoeuvre yourself onto your knees and then lift yourself up with your hips and your bum, like try not to use your arms. They are dropping and they are squishy. Not a lot has changed with my actual boobs, it's more my shoulders and my back that are in pain. Um, I'm sleeping okay, just in the mornings they're very stiff, especially when you try and lift yourself up. It hurts on the incisions, like it feels like you're actually pushing the implant out, which is really strange. My, my incisions are starting to get really itchy now, um, and I've been told that that's the, a sign that they're healing, so I'm taking that as a good thing. I can put on my makeup as I normally would. Obviously, I'm not 
going anywhere, so I'm not putting a flat out face of makeup on. Um, I'm quite bloated, as I said in yesterday's video. I've been taking store softeners to help me go, but yeah, anaesthetic does constipate you, which isn't good. So these are them on day three. My nipples are as sensitive as they usually were. I have got bits here, which I can't really feel. I can't really feel that, or down here. But my nipples are sensitive and I can feel everything else. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update and if anything changes, I'll add on to this. Hi everyone, it's still day three post-op, but it's in the evening, so I thought I'd give you a little update on what I've done today. So me and my mum went to Tesco's, um, there's a little one down the road from us, so we walked there and my nipples were so sensitive. Like, because these are sports bras, they have no padding like to cover up your nipples. So as you can see, they're pointy at the moment and I'm not even cold. It was just such a weird feeling that like, the tiniest bit of cold has made my nipples so sensitive. And also when I was walking, I could feel that they were like bouncing a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. And I've also discovered that I've down my cleavage, um, there's, it feels like there's little bits of tiny bubble wrap under my skin. So I don't know if that's normal, but it is scaring me a bit. Boobs are absolutely fine. As I said this morning, they're still a bit itchy down here, especially on the bit where I've got the mole removed. That's the most itchy bit. And I can move my arms as I normally would. I can just do everything that I normally would. Obviously not like push myself up or lift things that are too heavy, but I am finding that I'm becoming a lot more stronger than I was the first couple of days. So I've had no dizzy spells, no hot flushes. My medication's really working well. I've not actually had to take as much medication as I should. It does say that you're meant to take all of it as you've been prescribed, but I'd, I feel like I haven't needed the painkillers. So you're meant to take two paracetamols four times a day and one ibuprofen after every meal and then one of them big dehydra somethings when you feel like you need it. So what I've actually been doing is, in the morning I'll take two paracetamols and an ibuprofen after my breakfast. Then lunchtime I'll, I'll just take an ibuprofen and then at dinner time I'll take ibuprofen, two paracetamols and the strong painkiller so that when I wake up in the morning they're not as painful because as I've said in um, a couple of my other videos, they're painful in the morning, they're like rocks. But everything is literally going so smoothly, I'm in, experiencing hardly any pain. Literally the only pain I'm getting is in my shoulders. Um, I think that's just me trying to get used to my posture now, because I can't get used to just sitting. If I sit up I feel like I'm going to poke someone's eye out, but this is me just, this is how I would normally sit, and this is me sitting up, and it's just, I just can't get used to it. My right one is a bit higher than my left one. Really looking forward to them dropping. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon though. A little squishy. Again, I shouldn't be moving them, but I can't help it and I can't help touching them. I'm always touching them because I'm just fascinated by them. <laughs> but I'm gonna upload this tonight and I'm gonna do Fridays and the weekends video all this one because as I said at the start of this video, there's not really much going on. There's no change with anything apart from I've randomly decided to get shoulder pain. If you have any questions please do write underneath um, here in the comments section and I'll try and answer them. Um, I might do a question and answer video if I've got anyone that actually has any questions they want to ask me. But yeah everything's going good, anyone that is getting their boobs done please ask me questions and I'll try and answer them for you. As I said before these are 280 millilitres or 280 cc's under the muscle just round silicone gel implants and this is day three post-op and I'm loving my life. Thank you for watching, bye!